let's sketch this object in isometric view on this isogrid paper. So first step is to make a bounding box of this object. So in the front view, the rectangle will extend up to here. So it will be like this. So width of that, the rectangle will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 grid. And height is 4 grid. Now the top view, the bounding box will be right here. So of course the width will be the same as the front view, which is 9. And the depth of the box will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 grids. So it's a 9 by 4 by 4 bounding box. So we're going to draw that. Um, so this is the front view. So we'll look at this direction as your front view. So let's take this corner, uh, maybe a little bit higher. So let's take that corner right there uh, to be that corner here. And step this four grids will go here. That's the other corner right there. So this corner is here, that corner is there. And let's draw that corner. So this way it's going to be nine grids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine grids right there. Again, use the grids. Let's take another corner. The bottom height is one, two, three, four grids high. So we move that one, two, three, four grids. It's right there. And again, again, you can use the grids. You can draw the eight corners like that. So here's the top of the bounding box, front of the bounding box, right side of the bounding box. All right, so we need to start drawing it. And as you can see here in the top view, there will be a circle. And if you draw a vertical line, there will be a rectangle. So it is a pattern. If you see a circle on one view, and that is aligned with a rectangle, there will probably be a, a cylinder there. So there's another circle here. And if you draw a vertical line, there will be a rectangle, although two lines are uh, hidden lines. So it means it's a hole, not a cylinder. So there's a cylinder, and there's a concentric hole in the middle. All right, so we need to draw a cylinder, and its diameter is one, two, three, four grids, four grids diameter. All right, so we need to draw first construction lines, which is a square, and its uh, width will be four. So one, two, three, four. So your square will be right here okay and the center of that circle will be right there and we need to draw an ellipse and that ellipse will in touch with that with his points here right and this ellipse will tangentially meeting those points and draw there so you can just roughly sketch so it's not going to be like a super accurate but just draw in a freehand sketch All right uh, maybe too flat in here so I'm gonna redraw it so maybe like that again here maybe too flat All right draw something like that All right and the hole, there's another circle here, and it, it'll it fit in this square right here. And these are the four touching corners. So we're going to draw something like that. Again, it's not going to be perfect, but so two concentric circles. Now, uh, we need to draw a silhouette line here. Uh, well, you can, if you have a ruler and you slide in in the vertical orientation and until it meets the, one of the points there and you can draw a line there. 
all right but the question is how far do we have to go so a couple of ways you can do so let's say this is the uh, tangent point right there and um, because the height is four grid from there you can count like four grids down one two three four so roughly somewhere there or we can think of this way like this is an X and this is Y axis of this top plane what you need to do is translate copy and translate this uh, geometry down on this bottom X and Y plane here right so let's say this position here is I don't know like roughly two-third in X and roughly like half of in, in Y and then you can mark that same position here like two-thirds in X and about roughly half in Y and that's the matching point uh, from the top and bottom you can do the same thing on any point here so you can drop a one two three four grids down well obviously this will meet right here because that's a tangent point and there's the tangent point so uh, or you can redraw this whole circle on the bottom uh, plane here here's the original uh, here's a square you need to fit and these are the four uh, tangent points and this is the uh, center because this center has to be translated down one two three four grids and here's the center so you can just draw your uh, arc the ellipse like that okay and it'll meet right here and comes like that so you need to draw just a line there and here's another line so this is going to be a cylinder okay so we drew a cylinders and of course there will be like a silhouette line but in isometric view we're not going to draw any hidden lines so these all hidden lines we, we need to clean up once all is drawn all right, next we have another feature here there is like a slab uh, there's a rectangle here on the front view and the top view this is the shape of that feature here and on the top view it's an oblong shape okay so it looks like a, this region is a cylindrical surface and that is a plane it's right here, there okay so we need to draw this first let's draw this rectangle here so that will come like one grid from the very bottom but so right here is this plate okay and the question is where does this stop it stops right here where it meets the tangent to the cylinder okay so here's the tangent point if you drop a line it should stop somewhere here so here and there is this position they all all very clearly align okay so that is the kind of bounding box of that feature we need to draw this cylinder semi-cylinder here and its center will be two grids from the tip so it's right here okay and it'll tangently meet here tangently there and tangently meet it here so we can draw roughly this two squares and then it'll be a arc quadrant arc there and another quadrant arc there okay something like that and you can translate it there here too move it down that position is here the tangent point is there start there so you just need to draw another quadrant arc within this square and another quadrant arc fit in there like that 
it just draw a line there a little bit darker and a little bit silhouette line there okay and it'll be roughly like that and need to erase some of the hidden lines invisible lines and some construction lines there's those lines it's not really clean but just to show the shape of this object So roughly comes like that. But so this is how it looks like the object. 